Hey guys, what's happening? So with Windows 11, there are many native apps which can help us do almost all of our basic work done. It can be checking emails or watching the videos that are stored on storage or checking through photos. But there can be situations where these native apps are missing. Well, what do we do then? That's what this video is all about. Today, we're going to talk about some of the different things you can do in case the native apps on Windows 11 go missing. This is Gaurang, you're watching Guide in Tech. Let's get started. Windows 11 comes with built-in troubleshooters that can help you deal with almost all of the basic system level problems. So in case the default apps or the native apps go missing, you can just go ahead and use the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. In order to do that, open Start Menu, type in Troubleshoot Settings and press Enter. Then click on Other Troubleshooters. Now click on the Run button next to Windows Store Apps and follow the on-screen instructions to finish the troubleshooting process. After running the troubleshooter, go ahead and check for the default apps. If Windows 11 is missing just a couple of apps like Microsoft Store or Photos, then you can just go ahead and repair those specific apps. In order to do that, right-click on the Start icon and select Settings from the list. Navigate to Apps tab and click on Apps and Features. Locate the app that you want to repair. Click on the three dot menu icon next to it and go to advanced options. Scroll down to the reset section and click on repair. If the problem persists, you can also reset the app from the same menu. Note that this will remove all of the app data. And if repairing these apps did not work, then you can go ahead and use Windows PowerShell in order to reinstall these apps again on your PC. To do that, click the search icon on the taskbar, type in Windows PowerShell and click on run as administrator and paste the command that you'll find in the description onto the console and press enter. This might take a while, wait for the process to finish and then restart your PC. Your default apps will appear again. There is also a chance that you installed a third party app or a service which is interfering with Windows in the background. Hence. If the issues remain even after reinstalling the apps, then you can go ahead and boot your system in a clean boot state. To do that, press the Windows and R keys to open the Run dialog box, type msconfig and press Enter. Under the Services tab, mark the box that reads Hide All Microsoft Services and click on Disable All button in the bottom right corner. Next, switch to the Startup tab and click on Open Task Manager. In the startup tab, select a third party program and click on disable. Repeat this step to disable all the third party apps and programs. Restart your PC to boot Windows without third party apps and services. Check to see if you can find your default apps. And well, if this solves your issue, then you will have to go ahead and basically remove every app one by one that you have installed onto your PC to see which one was causing a problem. In order to boot to normal mode again, go ahead and repeat all of the different steps that were discussed earlier and then enable all of the startup apps and services. Then reboot your PC. If the default apps even after all of this are still missing, then the problem could be your user account. So in order to deal with this, just go ahead and create a new user account. To do that, open the startup menu and click on the gear shaped icon to launch the settings app. Switch to Accounts tab and click on Family and Other Users. Under Other Users, click on Add Account button. Click on I don't have this person's sign-in information and follow the on-screen instructions to create a new user account on Windows. After that, sign in with the newly created user account and your missing apps will appear again. Lastly, if none of these solutions have worked for you, then you've got no option apart from just resetting your PC. Thankfully, with Windows 11, you will still be having your personal data even after resetting your PC. But all of your different apps that you've installed and all of the system settings will be removed and reset. So to reset your PC, press the Windows and I keys to launch the settings app. In the system tab, go to recovery, click on reset PC, then select keep my files and then follow the on-screen prompts to finish resetting Windows 11. After Windows 11 resets everything, your default apps should be back. See, for most people, repairing or reinstalling these apps should fix the issue. In case any of this does not work well, you can always reset your PC. Whichever way worked for you, comment about it down below. And if you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the red subscribe button beside it. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get notifications for all our content from now on. This has been Gaurang, and I'll see you in the next one.